Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to the EDC Gunners channel and here we talk about affordable watches and if you have a collection or you are just starting to get into watches and collecting watches and you are on a limited budget and a price range uh, so you have address watches, um, divers, whatever uh, and you feel that something is missing and you are missing the pilot's watch and they are so popular and so good looking that uh, I think that every collection should at least have some pilot watch at least one and I found a great pilot's watch that I'm gonna show you this Pilot Aviator 1 chronograph and that watch ticks a lot of boxes for me first of all uh, some people like Russian watches and collecting some Swiss, Japanese, whatever, Chinese. Uh, there's a lots of variety and this one ticks a box uh, of a Russian watch. You With this watch you have a Russian watch, uh, you also have a pilot's watch and you have a mechanical chronograph. <laughs> you are looking at the Pilot Aviator 1 and it's, this was produced by Pilot in a Moscow, first Moscow watch factory in the early 2000s and um, that period, after soon after that period, the Pilot was in its demise and was ceased to be. Uh, also, uh, this uh, particular model was uh, being sued in um, Germany and Switzerland and because it resembled too much to Fortis according to them and they were basically uh, banned for sale in Switzerland and Germany uh, but they were widely available uh, later on it was replaced because of that lawsuit uh, with the Pilot Aviator 2 and other models but this is a short stint and other models never quite captured the originality uh, and essential design details of this one. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter watch. It's a pilot's watch. It's powered by the famous pilot uh, caliber 3133 chronograph movement and it's a 23 joule workhorse uh, and it's a pilot's upgrade of the famous 17 Joule um, Baju 7734 and after they purchased the towing from the Swiss in the 70s uh, they created this upgraded movement. So around uh, 1976 uh, uh, this famous movement of uh, 3133 chronograph uh, was created. It was, uh, like I mentioned, based on the Valju 7734 caliber. It's a manual wild watch and Valery Vladimirovich Polyakov wore a 3133 movement based watch uh, abroad to the Mir space station and that cemented the pilot watch as the longest watch worn on space flight in history uh, for 438 days and the record in this to this day uh, it's still held by this moment but enough with all that uh, so you're gonna take a closer look at the watch itself uh, it has a great history great movement uh, it's a great uh, affordable still in affordable lines of watches and it's a great bank per buck among watch aficionados and it's a very very cool watch uh, it a, has a bead blasted uh, stainless steel case uh, which is very very uh, nice and comfortable to wear uh, it's a 40 millimeter case uh, not including the crowns uh, has a mineral glass uh, which is not sapphire one uh, lugs are 20 millimeters uh, I, I ordered some uh, new uh, straps for this one. Uh, this one works great but I just have a feeling that some other one will be just cool. Uh, case back uh, there is a 
see-through case back but uh, this one has uh, more water resistance basically and it's uh, just a nice simple case back it says product uh, Paulette and Celeric uh, so if you are if you are not familiar with Celeric lighter rings um, it says here Paulette and down here it says Aviator uh, Chronograph 23 joules uh, so basically that's it uh, here Paulette Paulot, and that means flight in Russian uh, that means flight uh, and uh, the crown here uh, it's a signed crown as a nice logo of this same like here I'm not sure can you capture this and it's a wonderful wonderful watch to have and to upgrade and to have in your collection I was contemplating actually uh, whether uh, should I get some of those Barnes homages, uh, homage uh, watches or pilots watches with tunitas and Chinese. Uh, I would took this terrible one, uh, but eventually I opted out of not getting those one. Even though they were great, um, so I was able to manage to track down this this one and just uh, I'm so happy with it, uh, especially uh, because these days uh, uh, they, they might be affordable they might be too expensive for someone for someone to for both someone they're cheap but uh, no matter uh, the money uh, it can be quite um, hard to find this these days uh, I took it to our service I bought this uh, second hand but was nearly uh, it was like never worn and uh, that's a good thing with stainless steel you never know and uh, I only uh, when I got it I took it to the service to my watchmaker and one thing you should know when you can find a second hand watch uh, you always uh, need to get it to service because even though the seller uh, tells you it's serviced um, most of the time uh, it's not it hasn't been serviced so I took it to service uh, had to wait quite a few days for that and and I got it it was absolutely beautiful working and it's a manual wine chronograph and it's a manual wine watch uh, this is a second hand this is a, a minute register and this is a stopwatch it has a green indices I don't know if you can pick this on the camera but it's just beautiful uh, Originally, I would prefer white indices, but these green are just more readable in every situation, and they are add a bit more character to the watch itself. So, I'm now quite happy to have a green indices, and the loom on the watch is great. It's bright. It picks up really uh, greatly uh, on the but it also fades uh, quite fast and but uh, after it initial glow fades out uh, it's still readable but does not glow like uh, uh, at the beginning and the loom picks up really fast and great and glows for really cool uh, I like the red tip on this red second hand and this register hand just uh, it's uh, like a strawberry on the cake uh, just beautiful and also my favorite stainless steel finish is bead blasted one but uh, uh, for blades I like stone wash as well but for this it's a bead blasted and just gonna show you how the chronograph works so you start a chronograph by pushing this one and it measures the time it's beautiful beautiful just go watch and you stop it with this one again um, there are some people who may not know so I'm going to try to go in every detail uh, and you reset it by this one and it may appear that on camera it's not perfectly centered but it is uh, I had it done uh, so it's a great movement uh, it's a manual wind watch you want it uh, and wind is 
just smooth as uh, it can be it's very very smooth uh, winding uh, it's not like in those low grade um, older vintage watches when you hear the k -k 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 -k. this one is just smooth and it works like a charm and I love winding watches it's a beautiful feeling to wind your watch and there's nothing uh, automatic chronographs are cool uh, but um, I don't see there's nothing wrong with um, manual wind chronograph and I actually like them more because there is a lot less part to break into the watch uh, and these are headache to fix if you don't have a proper and educated watchmaker uh, so I like manual wind watches and it gives me more connection uh, than automatic watch and sometimes when you are just bored you pull out the watch and you just want it and that's it that would be my little review I hope you guys like the watch uh, I definitely recommend getting this to your collection uh, band is 20 millimeter I ordered some NATO bands for especially for this one and when it comes there maybe we'll give you an update uh, if you like the watch like the video uh, tell me what you think in the comment section down below and I so like I said definitely recommend adding this to your collection as a great great piece if you can find one of course so cheers I'm EDC Gunner thank you for watching and please subscribe